Hello everyone, I'm Melissa Dudan. Thank you so much for joining us for today's city update. Currently, Clark County is showing a COVID-19 positivity rate of 8.6%. With that said, we want to remind you of some upcoming free testing sites. This Thursday and Friday, you can get free COVID-19 testing at Valley High School near Eastern and Sahara. Now, this will be a walk-in site and will be located in the school's gym. Operating hours are from 8 a.m. until noon or while supplies last. There are about 400 self-administered nasal swab tests available. You do not need an appointment. Testing is open to everyone, including children. You are asked to wear face coverings and bring a photo ID. There are more testing sites to come. On November 5th and 6th, there will be a testing event at Silverado High School from 8 until noon as well. For more information on testing dates and locations, you can go to snhd.info slash COVID. Large venues and special events now have a better idea of what's required of them before they open up to the public. Under the governor's directive, large venues are required to submit a plan for state approval before hosting a large gathering. Requirements include a 10% cap on venues that seat more than 2,500. Trade shows and conventions are capped at 1,000 total attendees. Now, these types of events and venues will need to confirm that none of the attendees have COVID symptoms. A licensed medical professional must always be on site. Diagrams of the event layout must also be submitted. Now, other requirements include barriers, contact information, and disinfection protocols. Now, these are baseline requirements. Authorities have the right to decide if more precautions need to be taken. Some criminals are preying on vulnerability when it comes to unemployment. The Department of Employment, Training and Rehabilitation is warning businesses of a phishing scam that's circulating. There's an email going around with a subject line that reads, Important notice, urgent response required. This is not from Dieter, but is rather targeting Nevada employers. Here's an example of what the email looks like. This is an attempt to gather information from businesses which can be used to commit fraud. The sender's email also makes it appear official, but it is not. If you receive an email like this, you are urged to delete the message and not respond. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's City Update. We will see you tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone.